Shalom, shalom, shalom. The Lord is good and His mercy is in just forever. Today I'm only doing this video. I kind of do a short version before. But I thought let me make it longer and more precise because apart from this, Pastor Kumoye behaving as if he's the Judas of today. You know, the one who seems to be in holiness doctrine, very close to the Lord Yeshua as Judas was closer to the Lord also among the 12 disciples only to show himself going back to have friendship with the world, the world of Esau, whom God Almighty hates. According to Malachi 1, 3 to 4, God says, do not love the world or those things of the world that are not in line with heaven. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 to 17, and anyone that makes himself or herself you know, friend of the world is an enemy of God. You think God will allow his enemy to enter heaven? So with the sister giving revelation of almost 10 years ago, you know, that um, Kumuyi is not clean before heaven. Now he's coming out to show that he's just so unaware, according to Isaiah 4, 6, of the fact that the world is Esau. He claims that his secret is that he was initiated or was it doctrinated by Isos, as you can see in some of these um, posters? So you, if you are still in the confused world of we are all in this together, forgetting your slavery time by the very wicked ones of Ezekiel, so who now say that they are the ones going to heaven, God says flesh cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. First Corinthians fifteen fifty. Apart from him. You know, being in deep sleep and walking from the territory of holiness that he claims to have preached about, even though he's trying to say also in another title of his, as though holiness is not the doctrine of deeper life. You see, this one that I sold out to Esau and I've begun to collect net pay and all this, you know, agreement to the new world order. When did the Lord say that we are? Of the world. He says we are in the world, but we are not of the world. So when you begin to join the likes of a fake G.O. Adeboye, whom the Lord never called, and I have personal testimony before I can even agree with a brother and sister, the Lord has confirmed. You see, when you stand alone and give your own testimony, they will say, now nah, only you. Is it only you now we should follow? When you begin to acknowledge some whom the Lord has confessed that this is my daughter speaking, this is my son. They'll say, why are you so much believing in somebody else's? As if I don't have my own personal. I like to throw other people's personal testimony that I've had in front. This is what I did with the God's one to women, back from heaven, and many others. Even the back from heaven that was recalled. There's need to still call Sister Margaret Amore to ask was all what she said from her own singularity mind or she copied the testimony of a few others and added her own two different things which should have been asked of her because if somebody asks them true information of two other people and add her own she cannot claim it's all her work so that those people who still want to believe what the lord has spoken through the other two can go on and believe and be blessed so I just want to say that this man is so beaming. He thinks now he is in a, you know, anointed ministration working for Esau. He doesn't know that he's now proven to be the Judas of our days. Without mixing words, he needs to repent if there is even the opportunity to do so. Because Judas, once he betrayed the Lord, going back on his vomit, did not have the opportunity that Peter was given. So there's a difference between being the one to stand and betray your Lord, going back to his enemies to betray your Lord, you know, and gradually stating all sorts of, you know, statement as though to confuse the children of the Messiah God. Holiness is not the doctrine of deeper life. And all these, um, you are the one giving the final say on women's dressing.
is Kumuyi, an aunt, now our Lord and Savior. I didn't see him crucified on the cross, so he's there in this body timeline to show that we all here, we need Savior. We need Savior, that's why we are here. Why do people always want to make Saviors, golden calf of a mere mortal as they, when they should look up to Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the author definition of our faith. This man should be just told to silence his mouth for that claim that uh, he is going to do away with doctrines he created. Who told you to create doctrines? Who gave you the audacity as the Pharisee of Matthew 15, 1 to 9, to create your own doctrines of demons? In 1 Timothy 4, verse 1, in the last days, there will be doctrines of demons. Of course, coming from Esau, Satan, and coming from the Matthew 23 Pharisees, devils of John 8, 44. They will be mixing it, it will seem to those who are confused as if it's the truth. The same way they appear to you as if they are righteous. But if you look closer, if you allow the Holy Spirit to shine upon your mind, to renew your mind, you will see that these ones are wicked hypocrites of Matthew 23, 28. He's beaming now. He seems to have this team, secret, 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 secret. If you look at his side to secret, 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 the secret of this, the secret of that. This is how Judas too was going secretly, secretly, secretly into his meeting with the Roman soldiers of the very one who crucified our Lord and Savior until he sold his own soul thinking he's betraying the Lord. Some people don't know that there are some people that you don't touch. If you touch them, you touch yourself because the Lord Yeshua was the best in the group of the Lord and his disciples. Wherein Judas was the worst as a good and evil tie. It was a case of if you dare betray the Lord, you are also crucifying and betraying your own soul, Judas. So he could not be redeemed. This end time, everyone is being revealed for who they are. What is inside the heart is being seen. You are there on social media for you, for your own life. Or for Christ who died for you. The Lord God Almighty knows as the true children of heaven we have no business in any social entertaining or gathering of anyone, whether in minds or in body, except we are there for him. Go into the world and preach the gospel of salvation. According to Matthew 28, 18 to 20, Mark 16, 15 to 20. When did you last preach? You go into the world and meet friends with them. And then you claim that you don't want to be called the greatest daddy. Are you supposed to be called daddy? And those who keep elevating these men mortals as their golden calf, they will not go unpunished according to the scriptures. Go and read Jeremiah 14, 14 to 16. Revelation 2, 23. Those who follow even the blind guys, Pharisee, fake preachers of Illuminati, they also fall into the ditch with the blind guys they are following. So you cannot continue to be here and there claiming to be for the Lord Yeshua and serving mortal. The Lord says in Revelation 3, 15 to 20, if you don't decide and be on the Lord's side, he will spoon you away. So much as we said in this little you know, video with you seeing that there is a um, front page phrases to show that Pastor Kumi claims to be anointed by Esau. And before his anointing, obviously, he was creating his own doctrines, which is now removing. Should he have started ministry without the Holy Spirit? Of John 16 13 upon his life? Should he have been teaching any doctrines created by his own mind rather than going by the doctrines of the scriptures? No wonder he claims holiness. It's not deeper life doctrine. So, which doctrine is it? Doctrine of the scripture. 
So, yes, I know in a way, he does not even know that he has confirmed spiritually that when you are going deeper, deeper, you are not going for life. You are going for ghost area because higher is life, deeper is ghost area. So he's a confused man. You know, he calls on Holy Ghost also, confirming that he has gone the other way as Judas, who started as though a disciple, but started mingling with Esau. When you start going to the enemies of the Most High God, if you don't know who the enemies of the Most High God are, the most wicked of all nations, Ezekiel 7, 24, the ones the Lord himself says he has an everlasting case against in malachi 1 3 to 4 you don't know his enemy oh they have come subtly like the serpent they are as the lord tells you that they are the synagogue of lucifer in revelation 2 9 3 9 busy still doing the agenda of lucifer as the flesh yet you see so-called ones who carry title of the Messiah God or title never given to them by the Lord and say they are general of us here, they are general this and mingling with the very enemies of God. Are you going for heaven then? Or you are deluded in your mind? Enough is enough. We are tired of just keeping quiet and hoping and praying that you will change. This last day, who you are is who you are manifesting. If you are confused, go to God to put you on the Lord's side. Stop confusing those who will not carry their Bible. They just look at their golden calf and think they are on their way to heaven. Well, there is a way that seems so right. The end thereof is destruction. Proverbs 14, 12 way. May you not be caught up in that way. The way of many people this end time be flushed away. Even from their high-minded dreams of riches, riches, riches. Money, money, money. Since they don't want to come through the way of the Lord, the way of His commands, the way of contentment, the way of do not covet. So many are trapped as those following even the Pharisees today. Even in all this, there will always be the faithful few. They may be few, but as in Malachi 3, 16-18, God knows who they are. God knows that there are some hidden away, set apart in holiness, in righteousness. They will not compromise. They will not give in because they are of heaven. They are focused. Their focus is heavenward, not around, but upward. Looking unto Yeshua, the author, the finisher of our faith will not be shakable, will not be movable, always abounding in good works. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. And so we know that the Lord God is our shepherd and following us is his mercy and his goodness. So no evil befalls us, no plague comes near our dwelling as we continue up the mountain top, joining with the Holy Spirit with any mortal. For we know that our own Father is in heaven and holy is his name. Holiness is his standard. And without holiness, no one will see the Holy One of Israel. God bless you for listening. We are in the end time. God is looking for faithful heart who have pure heart and clean hands that will worship God not through any father or mama that they can see, but they will worship God in spirit and in truth. John 4, 24. God bless you for listening. Remember, the one who died on the cross of Calvary is highly lifted up. He's not among men because it's not man that he should lie. Look up to Yeshua. Stop looking around. So that you will know that your redemption is from above, not from around. Shalom.